guys, it's Half. I am back with a very long overdue BB box unboxing. Um, part of the reason I probably didn't film this is because I opened it and I didn't really like it. But I'm going to film it anyway. Uh, so, looks like this on the inside. Um, BB bo uh, Bella Box. BB Box. Bella Box is what this is. It's an Australian subscription service. You pay $15, something like that. Um, so, this is the January box. I'm pretty sure it's a January box. I've had it for a couple of weeks, so it might actually not be. Um, it might be like the December box. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, this is the Le card. It tells you on the back what you got in there. So, the first thing is probably the thing I am most unhappy about. Um, this is Skinny Tan Gradual Tanner. I don't use tanning products. Um, I'm, I have embraced my paleness. In fact, when I was at beauty school, um, we actually learned how to do spray tans, and I refused to have anything other than my legs spray tanned, and even that looked terrible anyway. Um, so, this is not something that I'm going to use. I... Um, I don't know, I might put it in a giveaway or something. Um, I'm getting towards 500 so of subscribers, so maybe I'll put it in a subscriber giveaway. But I certainly won't be using it. Um, and it is safety sealed, so I'm not even going to open it. Apparently it smells like coconut, but this is not a product that I will ever use because I don't tan. The next one is one that I'm not particularly happy about because I've already used it. In fact... This is the Suntivity um, Sun Protection for Body and Face, which is uh, very similar to this product here, which I have de out of my collection because it smells like Elmer's and it's disgusting. Um, this is only a little tiny sample of the 50 plus one. I will probably try it out and see if it... Now see, it smells like freaking glue as well. It's not as liquidy as the other one. The other one was like super duper liquidy, like run down your hand kind of liquidy. This one is thicker. Um, yeah. It straight up smells like PVA glue. It's gross. <laughs> I mean, I know sunscreen doesn't generally smell very good, but these are these are not great. Um, I might just use up on my arms or something when I'm like going out, but yeah, not happy with those two products. And then um, apparently I have these two other ones. This here is Eye Pro for a professional makeup finish. Um, it is a pair of eye makeup pads. It creates a straight edge for eyeshadow, precision guide for winged cut eyeliner, protect the under eye area from shadow fallout and leaves the under eye area feeling fresh and hydrated. Uh, so you, before you put on your eye makeup, you take off the clear backing and you put the gel side under your eye and maneuver it to the desired angle. This is one pair of iPad. This apparently these uh, for a ten pack is fourteen dollars ninety five. So this is like a dollar fifty. This thing right here. Um, the skinny tan gradual tanner was thirty dollars for that one that they gave us, and the Cetaphil Suntivity is. Uh, $19.05 apparently for a hundred mil. This is 10 mil. So this is like a dollar ninety. So a dollar ninety, dollar fifty, and then this. This is the thing that you're supposed to think, oh great, this is like thirty dollars worth. Not. The bonus item is the Intensive Skin Therapy Pure Moisturizing Lotion with Pore Pore Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. This little tiny, um, 
Oh, irony. This particular country, company, um, they're based locally to me. Their PO box is in Mount Barker in South Australia, which is where I live. So there you go. I've not heard of, I don't think I've heard of them. Um, but yeah, this is a teeny tiny little sample. So, so far, I've not actually received anything in this box that I actually like or that I think is actually useful for me. <sighs> then we got a sample of the Chlorine uh, shampoo with chamomile. Blonde radiance and inter intensity for natural, highlighted or colour treated blonde to light brown hair. Do I have blonde or light brown hair? No, I do not. So, again, this product is no good for me, but as my mother just said, it would work fine for her. So, we have five products out of this one box, none of which are inspiring in any kind of way. So, the last thing is from... Um, this is a Bella Box brand. It's literally BB. I don't know who they get to make their stuff. This is the BB Summer Shimmer Trio. It was available in Pastel Unicorn Trio and Golden Nymph Trio. Um... I have something complete. Oh, this is the... You can get it in those as well as this, which is the Summer Shimmer Trio. It is a trio of highlighters, and I can tell right now I am not going to like this. <laughs> They're all cream. They're all cream. Okay, so... This one, this, this one here, is kind of orangey. Probably really hard to see, they're not hugely pigmented. Um, this, this one here, is probably not too bad, you know, it's okay. This one here is packed full of glitter. It's like right there. It's like a glitter bomb. Um, they feel really... I don't know if you can see that texture on them. They feel really greasy, like super greasy. If you have really oily skin, that's not going to work for you, and that bronzy kind of one, there's no way that's a highlighter on my skin tone. Like, I didn't even realise that this was cream when I opened it, and that just makes it worse. If they'd been powders, I might have like used them as eyeshadows, but as cream highlighters, I don't really like cream highlighters at the best of times. Um, I'm actually trying to use one up at the moment, and it is so hard to use, because I'm just, I don't tend to use cream products. Um, I might use them as cream eyeshadow bases, but that would be about it. So, basically, in this Bella box, I got nothing that I like. I'm sure some people would have been perfectly happy with the items that were, are in this box, but um, three little samples like this, particularly of a brand I know I don't particularly like, this is such a gimmicky, annoying thing, quite frankly. This one is the only one I'm thinking, oh, this, the, this might actually be useful for like all of one application. I can't use the shampoo. At least I can give it to my mum. The gradual tanner I'm not even going to touch. And cream highlighters which aren't even from like a known brand they're like bb's brand uh, and that's worth nine dollars it's like three grams of product and it's worth nine dollars or ten dollars on their site 
So basically I'm, I'm pretty unhappy with that box and I really hope the next box is way better because if the next box is not way better I will be cancelling again because I just I'm not I'm not, not to get a whole and normally when I get a box I get at least one item that I quite like and there's like nothing in this box it's just so not geared towards me at all and I'm pretty sure you do do a certain amount of Pretty sure there's like a survey thing that you do, so they should know that there are certain products that you won't use. So yeah, not impressed, Bella Box. So that is my unboxing of my Bella Box for this month. Uh, if you want to see more of my stuff, click the subscribe button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing tough videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. So yeah.